If you want to compare two scenarios with different production cost of the same products, you can use the scenario feature of Excel. This will help you compare scenarios easily. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and VBA tutorial helpline. This is Hadiul Basher and today I'll demonstrate how to create scenarios in Excel. For this video, I'll use Microsoft Excel 365. Here is a data set. This includes the name of the components of a computer mouse in column B and their corresponding prices in column C. Finally, in cell C9, the total cost of the mouse is calculated using the sum function. Now, I'll create and compare two scenarios by lowering the component prices in the first scenario and then in the second scenario by increasing the component prices and finally, we'll observe the effect on the total cost of the mouse. To do so, go to the data tab. In the forecast section, click on what if analysis. As I'll create and compare scenarios, the move to scenario manager, this opens scenario manager window. Now to add the scenario, click on add. This opens Add Scenario window. In the Scenario Name field, type Lowest Possible Cost. In this scenario, I will lower the prices of the components from the regular price. So, I will change the values of cells C5 to C8. To do so, in the Changing Cells field, discard the current value and select cells C5 to C8. You can see that the cells C5 to C8 are selected. Now, to change the cells values, click on OK. This opens Scenario Values window. As I will lower the prices from the regular prices, so let me quickly fill up the lowest possible prices. You can see that I have decreased the prices of the all components from the regular price. These values are suitable for my case. You should insert the values according to your case. Now to add the second scenario, click on Add. This opens the Add Scenario window. As a scenario name, type Highest Possible Cost. I'll change the values of cells C5 to C8. In the Changing Cells field, cells C5 to C8 are already selected, so I can click on OK. This opens the Scenario Values window. You can see the regular prices in cells C5 to C8. Now I will set the highest possible prices. For cell C5, set the value as 10. In cell C6, set the value as 9. Next, for cell C7, set a value 20. And finally, in cell C8, increase the value to 9. Now, click on OK to create the scenario. In the Scenario Manager window, you'll find the scenarios we have just created. And here you'll find options to apply on our scenarios. As I want to create a summary, so click on Summary. This opens the Scenario Summary window. In the Report Type field, you will find two types of available reports. The first one is the Scenario Summary and the second one is the Scenario Pivot Table report. In my case, I will create the Scenario Summary report and the regular price of our mouse is 35. I will observe the effect of lowering and increasing the component prices on the total cost. So, our result sales will be C9. Now, click on OK to create the Scenario Summary. You can see that a new worksheet named Scenario Summary is created automatically. And in the Scenario Summary, you will find three sections, the current values, the lowest possible cost, the highest possible cost. The changing cells are highlighted in grey color and in the result cells, you will find the current values of a mouse is 35, the lowest possible value is 22 and the highest possible value is 48. This is the Scenario Summary report based on our input. I have demonstrated the step-by-step -step guide for creating scenarios in Excel. Hopefully, you can apply this knowledge according to your requirements and convenience. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions or feedback in the comment section below. You can go to exceldemy.com to read our Excel blogs or you can share your Excel related issues in our Exceldemy forum and receive free solutions. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye!